Good day, everyone. My name is Abiyo Dumbelo, and I am a poultry scientist with DuPont Nutrition and Biosciences. It is a pleasure to have the opportunity of presenting abstract number 146 at this year PSA 2020 meeting. The title of my talk is Comparative Efficacy of a Novel Concessius Bacteria Cisphytes Variant and a Commercial Cisphytes at 2000 FTU on growth performance, tibia hash, and cost benefit in brillers. Depending on diet type, phytate phosphorus averages from 0.22 to 0.33 in brillers diet. With dietary phytate supplementation, phytate is degraded to prevent its chelation to minerals, particularly calcium and other nutrients, including protein and starch. As a result, phosphorus is liberated and made available for absorption. And the utilization of other nutrients, including calcium, sodium, amino acids, and starch are also increased across the digestive tract of birds. However, even with phytase usage in diet, a significant level of phytate phosphorus still passes through the digestive tract of birds undigested. In light of this, a research question was put together, and it goes as, can a novel concessious bacteriasis phytis variant further decrease the anti-nutritional effect of phytate and improve the utilization of phytate phosphorus, calcium, sodium, amino acids, and starch relative to a commercial cis phytis? For the sake of brevity, I will be referencing the novel concessious bacteria cisphytes variant as Phi-G and the commercial cisphytes as Phi-H. With full understanding of the limitation of commercial phytases, Phi-G has been developed as beta. This phytase also expressed in trichoderma race, retained the bioefficacy sequence element of Butyacella species and screened for broader pH spectrum, higher intrinsic thermostability, superior degradation efficacy of phytate and its binary and ternary complexes, faster and higher hydrolysis efficacy, particularly in the acidic part of digestive tract of birds. As observed by the results of an in vitro study shown on this graph, Phi-G exhibits a higher optimal phytase activity at low pH relative to Phi-H. This indicates the higher efficacy of Phi-G in the proventriculus and gizzard of birds to help decrease the anti-nutritional effect of phytates and increase the phytate phosphorus utilization relative to Phi-H. Hence, the objective of the current study was to evaluate the efficacy of Phi-G relative to Phi-H on growth performance, feed efficiency, bone quality, and economic benefit in broilers fed, diet severely reduced in available phosphorus, calcium, sodium, amino acid, and energy. A total of 960 male COP500 birds were placed in floor pen with 20 birds per pen and 12 pens replicate to each of four dietary treatments. Dietary phases covered in this study were starter, grower, finisher one, and finisher two phases. Samples collected for analysis were right tibia bone from four birds per pen for bone ash analysis. May or may assessed were growth performance, which included body weight corrected FCR and economic benefit across 0 to 42 days of age. Four experimental diets were utilized in this study, and they were, one, a positive control diet, which was a nutrient adequate commercial diet. Two, negative control diet, which had the positive control reduced in metabolizable energy 
by 88 kcal per kg in digestible amino acid by 0.01 to 0.08% unit in calcium by 0.21% unit in available phosphorus by 0.2% unit and in sodium by 0.05% unit. Three was the negative control diet supplemented with 5H at 2000 FTU dose. And four was the negative control diet supplemented with 5G at 2000 FTU dose. Five test activities in the diet were analyzed and observed to be in the range from 97 to 100 and 23% of the target activity. For the formulation of the positive and negative control treatment, mixed diet, which composed of corn, soybean, wheat, rapeseed meal, rice bran, and oat oats were used along with non-plant-based ingredients to meet targeted levels of energy, digestible amino acid, calcium, available phosphorus and sodium in each diet and at each dietary phases. Complete randomized design was used in the setting of the trial and pain was taken as experimental unit for analysis of the growth performance parameters. White board was considered as experimental unit for the analysis of bone quality. One way another was used for all analysis of data. P-value was considered significant when less than or equal to 0.05, and means were separated using Tukey HSD test. And now results. On each of the result slides, effect of diet on the measured parameters were presented in the horizontal bar, in the other starting with the control diet in the light and deep ash color. Then, the 5H in the blue bar and 5G in the red bar. For the effect of diet on the day 42 body weight, clearly feeding the energy and nutrient reduced diet across the day 0 to 42 decreased body weight of birds by over 300 grams. Quiet bird phytosis statistically restored body weight to similar level as the positive control. 5G further increased the body weight of birds by over 100 gram relative to 5H. The effect of diet on the day 0 to 42 average daily feed intake also showed that the negative control diet decreased feed intake of birds by about 10 gram per day. Both phytosis alleviated the depressed feed intake. However, 5G still showed nominal higher feed intake compared to 5H. The diet effect on the day 0 to 42, body weight corrected feed conversion ratio, similarly showed that the nutrient and energy reduction worsened FCR by over 15 points. However, only 5G statistically restored the worsened FCR to similar level as the PC. And on phytase to phytase comparison, 5G improved FCR by over four points relative to 5H. For the effect of diet on bone quality, the negative control diet similarly decreased the day 21 bone ash by almost 14%. And why both phytases increased the bone quality parameter, only 5G completely restored bone ash to the same level as the PC diet. In terms of how each of the phytases increased economic benefit, which was estimated based on feed cost in US dollars per kg of body weight, both phytases improved economic benefits relative to the PC diet. However, using 5G in diet showed to be more cost-effective by over 2% relative to 5H. In conclusion, the overall finding of this study 
demonstrated that while the commercial cis only partially alleviated the adverse effect of the nutrient reduction on feed to meat conversion and bone mineralization relative to the nutrient adequate diet. The novel consensus bacteria cis variant completely and cost effectively compensated for the severe nutrient and energy reduction to maintain bone hash as well as overall growth performance of birds relative to the nutrient adequate diet. This clearly confirms the improved phosphoric and extra phosphoric power efficacy of this novel consensus bacteriasis phytase variant. With this, I would like to say thank you. In case there is any question, please feel free to get to us. We hope to hear from you. Thank you so much.